You'll love making these earrings, but they come with a twist. Hello, welcome, my name's Carol. The earrings I'm making today are actually quite simple once you know how they go together. And I must be honest with you, when I first decided to make them and I was designing them, I had a lot of trouble trying to get them to sit right. They were very springy. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean as we go through. So today I'm going to walk you step by step through the process of making these earrings and I will leave you links in the description box below to everything you need. So basically at the top of the description box will be a link to a blog post and in that blog post it will contain step by step instructions as well as the links to everything that I've used today. So let's get making. These earrings don't take much to make. What I've got in front of me are some 4mm crystal glass faceted beads. These ones are in the colour ruby and they are stunning. Ruby and garnet are always my favourites. I've also got some 3mm metal balls, silver. I've got some magical crimp tubes and I'm going to be using my magical crimper. Now if you don't have a magical crimper you could use an ordinary crimper and ordinary crimp tubes that would be fine. I have here some stud posts. Now these ones are really cute. They have a little heart on them and a loop at the bottom. I've also got a pair of butterflies to go with my studs and I've got some 4mm jump rings. As well as that I've pre-cut my tiger tail, I've got four pieces here about 30 centimetres long. And just to help me I have a piece of 18 gauge wire. Now this is an optional extra, it just makes the process a lot easier. The first thing we're going to do is thread our beads onto the wire. I'm actually only going to make one earring for you because you know it's the same. <laughs> All right so we're going to start with our tiger tail and I'm going to take a bead stopper and pop it on the end and then I'm going to thread on four of my little silver beads here. Next I'm going to thread on my garnet beads and I'm going to thread on 12 of those. And then I'm going to finish up with four of my silver beads again. You need two of those components so I've already gone ahead and threaded mine up. Now the fun starts, we're going to put it together. What I'm going to do first is take one of my pieces of tiger tail out of my bead stopper and I'm going to put on a crimp tube. I'm going fishing for my crimp tube with the end of my tiger tail, it makes it easier to pick up. Now you want to leave yourself quite a bit of room at the other end so don't push the beads all the way down. Then what I'm going to do is take my piece of 18 gauge wire and I'm going to thread my tiger tail, just wrap it around there like that and I'm going to push that crimp tube all the way back up over those two pieces. If you haven't crimped before I'll leave you a link in the description box below for a video all about how to crimp. The reason I'm using this piece of 18 gauge wire is so that my loops will be the same size or the right size to go through the jump for the jump rings to go through. You want to make sure that your loops are big enough to get everything on. It's gotten stuck so I'm just going to push it out with my pliers there. And you can see that by putting that piece of wire in there it stops you actually pulling it down too hard and pulling it back through the crimp tube and it just makes you make the same size loop. So now that I've done that I'm going to take my magical crimping plier and I'm going to crimp it. One squeeze, turn it around and two squeezes. I'm actually going to take that out now, it's getting in the way. I'm just going to do that a couple more times till I get my crimp tube looking like a nice little round bead. That's what I have now. Next I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other end. So taking another crimp tube and feeding it on and just employing my handy piece of wire here and wrapping it around the wire and feeding my tiger tail back down through that crimp tube and this time I'm wanting to go through a couple of my beads as well. So down through maybe the first four 
and pulling that end. You want to just pull everything up nice and tight. If it gets stuck, like mine's stuck, just push your crimp tube down and then you, that will allow you to pull everything back up again. And you just keep doing that until you get it to the right length. So you want your earring part, this part, to be flexible still, so don't pull it too tight, otherwise it will be really stiff and you won't be able to twist it. And you want to make sure it's kind of the same size as the previous one, which mine, if you can see that, mine is slightly bigger. So I'm going to pull it down a little bit more, putting my wire in there so I don't hook it down through. If you, if you want, you can actually put a bend in your wire, that might make it easier. Just keep adjusting until you get it right. There you go. That looks about right, and I'm going to crimp it. And I want to cut off my other end, my short tail there. So get your pliers right in there as close as you can. Make sure you tuck your end in. And that's what I have now. And I'm going to repeat that for this one. Now just while I'm doing that, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who has also commented. I love reading your comments and I try to answer every single one. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would be really great if you would do that and hit that notification bell. That way you'll never miss a thing and YouTube will know that you want to see more of me. And also, if you're enjoying this one, give me that uh, thumbs up. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. There are my two pieces with their crimps on and their loops at either end. Aren't those colours just stunning together? Next, we're going to join it all together. But before we do that, I want to put my loop onto my stud and that way everything's done and I don't have to open my jump ring again. So I'm going to take my two pairs of chain nose pliers and open my jump ring. If you haven't used jump rings before, I'll leave you a link in the description box to a video all about jump rings. And I am going to open my jump ring just like that, pop it onto my, the loop of my stud, and I'm going to close it. There it is with its jump ring attached. Now the reason I added an extra jump ring here was because if I hadn't done that, my earrings would have hung the wrong way. They would have hung this way instead of this way. Next, we're going to put it all together. And to be honest, this bit can be a little bit tricky. It's kind of one of those situations where you need to hold your mouth right. But hopefully I can show you some tips along the way to get it happening. So we're going to take a jump ring. And I've, this one actually happens to be open and it's open really wide. And you need it to be really wide. And then we're going to take our beaded components and thread on the end loops. You want to hold your jump ring right at the top there so that it gives you plenty of space. So I've, I've got it right on the opening. Now you want to twist and you want to twist towards you, not away from you, because if you twist away from you, the loops will pop off your jump ring. So we're going to twist it three times. And then we're going to put it on to that jump ring one at a time. So it's just a matter of holding it all there while you get everything on. And then we're going to put it on the loop of our earring, or the, not the loop, the jump ring. Now I'm going to hold it all down and there's no way that I can actually close my jump ring properly. So what I'm going to do is just give it a wee squeeze to get it started, hopefully, just holding everything in place. And now I can go and uh, close it properly. because there's a lot going on in that little jump ring. Before I show you my earrings, I'm going to tell you about the Jewelry Box, which is my private membership here on YouTube. And it just allows you to have more access to me, basically. We do a live stream once a month, and the top tier have a Zoom call with me once a month as well. And I also will be posting additional things like uh, pictures and projects I'm working on. And also you get early access to my videos. So if you would like to join the membership, what you need to do is click the join button down below. So click that and it will give you all of, all of the details. Thank you so much. So here's my earrings. 
Aren't they stunning? I just love the colour. I love the way that they move and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. As I said, Garnet and Ruby are my, one of my favourites, so I could not love them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you again soon.